stuff all right i'm trying to we're going to cover all of these areas in here um as tightly as i possibly can getting inside of all of the little crevices this area is really good so far it's really tight all in here trying to make sure there are no holes uh, as much as possible but i did go ahead I started pouring some of the mulch down right now. Hope you're blessed and doing well because I'm doing great. I am Sandria, also known as Queen Nest, the gardener, the soap maker, and the chandler. And I wanted to take you all on a quick little, like a little mini tour, you know, a little something of my front yard garden because my tulips are starting to go over. And I wanted to show you guys the front yard garden before the tulip display is done. These are the most stunning tulips in white i absolutely love them they are fantastic i planted them in about what around march march end of march no february end of february or march i have a video showing you guys when i planted them i'll leave it right here in the r card but i stratified the bulbs um, because i received them in october um, and i stratified them and gave them a really cold winter in my garage and my where my freezer was and it was really cold in there it's not a heated garage so it was about 30 something degrees in there so they definitely um, experienced some cold temperatures the petals were starting to drop and i had to show you all before they went over all right so i'm going to show you guys the front yard garden come on let's take a look so first and foremost we are mulching the garden with cardboard digging out weeds and laying down cardboard we are overlapping the cardboard so that there isn't any light and then we're heavily mulching it over with these wood chip mulch um, earlier in the season um, i showed you all when i planted these beautiful dwarf weeping lure petalums from southern living and then i popped in some beautiful white pansies this is another lure petalum here it will bloom and it'll have some really beautiful pink blooms on there and over here i showed you all when i planted this nightlight cameo cypress from southern living as well so that is that one there it's doing amazing and it's absolutely beautiful back here um where we're still mulching i have a weeping japanese maple back here um, that i had picked up it's going to be really pretty in the middle there back here towards the back of the garden area here is the southern living terra oak leaf hydrangea that is another one that i planted i'll leave that video right here in the i card for you guys but as you can see, it is leafing out beautifully. It has some really nice new growth on here and it is doing absolutely fantastic. It died back during the winter and all of this is its spring growth. So as you kind of come out of the bed and take a step out of the bed, then you're greeted 
by the pansies and these beautiful white clear water tulips aren't they stunning oh my goodness they're beautiful so during the early part of the morning they're closed and then during the middle part of the day they open up now I don't know how this little beauty got in there <laughs> but this one is more yellow but she's gorgeous and she's welcome to stay and this one here when it was open it had more of like a striping to it I don't know that one kind of popped in there as well but as you can see it's going over because the petals are are falling off of it as well that's another dwarf leaping lore petalum right there and I still have tulips budding up in here so my tulip display is not over yet I still have some little babies coming up in there which I'm so excited about because I don't want them to end at all this was another like green and pink striped one that was in there this one is going over it's in its last days and there you go and then we have two of the um, Terra hydrangeas and we're mulching all back here in the back area back there and um, we'll finish all of that is work in progress here is the planters we just potted up these are going to spring back up and they're going to be absolutely beautiful these are dianthus they look so pretty they remind me of carnations i love them and this is a petunia it's already gone over but we're gonna it's gonna bloom over and over and over again throughout the summer and i just love it it's just a really nice stroll up the front of the path I completely dug this out and I'll be just kind of accenting with big rocks like that but I completely dug this out and tilled it up and mulched it over I removed some really large bushes that were in here if y'all remember that but let's go over on this side we haven't finished this side over here so this is what was here before we mulched over the garden beds with pine straw and we are going to do the same thing put the cardboard down completely covering the pine straw and then we're going to mulch it over again but the pansies in here are doing really well and of course the tulips are doing excellent they have such a beautiful upright habit that i love so so much so let's talk about the bushes that you see back here this was the jewel box from southern living it did not make it they did not make it I thought I saw a little bit of life down by the base, but this plant endured a lot of cold freezes this winter. Um, and because it was a newly planted in plant, I just don't think it can take it could take those cold temperatures. So I will be replacing them and putting in a rose that I have there. However, the butterscotch um coral bells these are doing really really well these are from southern um living as well they're doing excellent they they took the cold freezes and winter very well and they're doing amazing so they're so beautiful with their beautiful golden orange color um in this particular part of the garden bed and of course this is the other planter that is over here it's weeping right now because we just planted it out so it's enduring a little bit of root shock but it will spring back up really soon in the next day or so and these petunias will come out as well so this is the rose bush that i'm going to plant here in this area where that is i'll plant this rose up and it's already trying to bloom and bud up i overwintered this and it actually is alive and it actually is trying to um it's trying to bloom which is amazing so that will be going over here all right guys and that is it that is my front yard garden <laughs> and i hope you all like 
like it i hope you enjoyed this little brief tour this is by no means complete this is a work in progress so if you were looking for something that was really pristine and really finished no no not gonna happen not on this video this particular garden is actually a work in progress i have been diligently working on this one for quite some time i took out knockout roses in here um this garden bed digging out weeds it has a wild blackberry vine in here that i'm trying to kill desperately without using any chemicals um so yeah for it to actually turn out this way i am super impressed and i'm really happy and satisfied with the results so give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and now yeah, i'll see you guys on the next video happy gardening